Thousands of people who have traveled to southern Manitoba for tomorrow's eclipse of the sun may get only a dim view of the phenomenon. Forecasters are predicting cloudy skies for the region, the only one in Canada to have a total eclipse. Terry Matty reports. The celestial show has drawn thousands of visitors from Europe and the United States, and in Red Lake, Ontario, scientists have begun launching a series of rockets to do tests in the Earth's atmosphere. Ironically, many Manitobans will not see the eclipse. Some school boards, taking the advice of eye doctors, will keep children in their classrooms to watch the show on television. Teacher groups have complained about this because most scientists and academics say there are safe ways to watch the eclipse directly, and they say a television picture of a total solar eclipse is a poor substitute for the real thing. Well, I think that any time the sun disappears on you in the middle of the day, and all of a sudden the stars are shining and it's nighttime, that's something that's so unusual that to miss it would be, I think, a real shame. As an educator, naturally I feel that if there was a way to do it properly and safely, that, that we should take every step possible to do it. But school administrators say they must follow the advice of the eye doctors, and besides, the schools cannot provide proper supervision for the students. If you're wearing glasses, be sure Not all school divisions agree. In Nipawa, Manitoba, school children will watch the eclipse using special visors developed by the Manitoba Planetarium. Parents will help supervise. In Minnedosa, paper bag visors incorporate number 12 or number 14 welder's glass approved as safe by the National Research Council. The children will wear the bags to watch the partial phases of the eclipse, then go into the shade and remove the bags to experience the onset of darkness. During the brief total part of the eclipse, they can look directly towards the sun with no eye protection. There are various devices to watch the eclipse indirectly by projecting an image of the sun. What are you going to be doing on eclipse day? Well, I've uh, applied for a leave of absence for the morning and uh, I'll lose half a day's pay. And I'm going to keep my two boys out of school and we'll watch the eclipse along with my wife. In Winnipeg, many parents plan to keep their children home from school tomorrow so they can see the eclipse. In fact, some high schools expect an absentee rate as high as 90%. But the show may not be all that spectacular after all. The weather office is predicting heavy cloud cover for much of southern Manitoba tomorrow morning. Terry Maddy, CBC News, Winnipeg. The CBC will have live coverage of the eclipse tomorrow morning.